about two or three months after I left my uh, career in biotechnology that I met Guruji. And our first meeting was kind of extraordinary. He asked me to sing a short composition. And after I finished my composition, he said I had potential, but he rejected everything I sang. And mind you, I'd been learning music for about 30 years before that. And he said, if you think that's classical music, that's really not classical music. And he said that if you're willing to unlearn everything you've learned before and start over again, I'm willing to take you on as my student. And actually, truthfully, I was quite happy that there was someone who was actually willing to make that effort and make that commitment to me to teach me all that he knew. So we began our lessons. And what surprised me was in the very second lesson, he wrote me this letter. And what struck me about this letter was he said, I really don't need anything for myself. But what I really want is to propagate this music. He shared with me all those musicians in the past who had not only created great music, but also did a lot to propagate and preserve music. And he was one of those. And he said, I want to help preserve this music. Will you help me? And if you will help me, I'm ready to move in with you in your house, me and my wife, and commit ourselves to this uh, journey. A few months later, they moved in with us. And so we began our lessons. We spent a lot of our time writing. It was a great collaboration. And what was really amazing was Guruji had this amazing scientific approach to teaching art. And having been trained as a scientist for many years, I was really attracted by that. And I had learned from six other teachers before, and this was unusual for me. And I felt I needed to somehow document this and preserve this and share it with everybody else. We wrote a whole bunch of books, and these got published last year. It was a series of three volumes that we published. Then after that, we have a whole bunch of other projects that we're doing. We've written another book. We're waiting to publish that. What Guruji has done is, as I said, he's both a musician and a musicologist. And he has done extensive research on various styles of music. He's written all these things in Marathi. And mind you, all these things he's self-published. And I think of all the books, he's written over 30 books. And of these books, there are about six books that I really think are, are jewels and that need to be shared with the world. And I'm in the process of translating this into English. This is so much about all the books that we're writing. But what about his music? I asked myself, what is it that I really like about his music? I'd learned from so many others. It was only over the years that I realized it was that oneness with sound that I experienced every time, time and again. That ecstasy that we experienced in class, every time I'd always learned something new, something magnificent from him. And it was his love for melody, for sur, and that perfect sur that he really cared about. We'd like to start give you a short uh, glimpse into what we do. Oh uh -huh. 
पन पन I just want to be with you. 
Shiva. Ah.